bear, bye, happy new year, all that kind of stuff. All that kind of stuff. Okay, today we're going to learn about morphs. Okay, how do we save up morphs and how do we use them? I right, so if you haven't got it yet, I've never used this program by the way. It's called Hexagon, it's part of uh, DAS. All you have to do is go into your install manager, your DAS install manager, and look up Hex, Hexagon. I downloaded Hexagon 2.5 Contact, Hexad. I don't even know what that is, but let's just do it. Sounds like Hexagon, right? Sounds like it's needed, so don't know. And Hexagon 2.5 Windows, okay? After that, it'll install everything, and you're good to go. Okay, let's go. Now, when you launch Hexagon for the first time, it's going to ask you for a serial number, okay? All you got to do is go to your account inside of DAS and uh, click here, serial numbers, right there, right there, and then you'll get your, your serial numbers for all the stuff that you need, okay? And there it is, hexagon, copy it, paste it in there, and you're good. Okay, so once we've got it working, all good, just, just close it, we don't need it for now, and uh, load up an Essentials character. Now look, if you want to use it with other characters and stuff, the best thing to do is have a essentials character open okay it's you need it all right you need it you need it anyway so now that everything's installed you're good load up a genesis 9 we can put on the material on the character let's just chuck on just chuck on material mate uh, uh and i'm gonna fast forward all this stuff because we we don't we don't care too much about it okay set up your character Put a ton of morphs onto it, all right? You, you got the basics. Now, just to show you, this is a standard Genesis 9 character with a female base on it. And this is the before, and I'm gonna add all my morphs to it and we'll come back. something something that we changed right once you've done that open this up look we don't want the eyebrows okay delete that uh everything else is fine mouth eyes tear eyelashes all that's fine click on your genesis 9 say file export i mean send to uh and hexagon okay send it off to hexagon awesome all right there's a character okay Right, once you your models in there, uh, all you gotta do is go on the side here and select uh, what you're gonna do. Select just your character here, scene tree, Genesis nine, and all we're gonna do is say file and send to Death Studio. That's it. That's all we're gonna do. That's all we're gonna do. Just select Genesis nine. You don't need eyelashes, tears, all that kind of crap. Just do that, and you're good to go. Now, when you do this, it might not swap over. All you got to do is just go back to uh, your DAS and you'll see this little thing here, right? So, you want to create a morph. You want a uh, group path. I'm going to put it under, oh, jeez, actor. I don't know. Actor, maybe. Where will I find this now, huh? Morphs, hexagon, bridge. Morphs, jeez, I don't know. Oh, let's see. Okay, I'm just going to put it under actor and then I'm going to give the morph a name and call this test morph Bwah. okay test morph Bwah. always name them convincingly always name them convincingly uh so i'm going to copy this mm, because i'm going to forget the name which is awesome and i'm just going to accept that okay once you've done that let's go to the next part Okay, once you've named it, just go down here, you select your character, uh, and just type in your morph name. Boom, there it is. Okay, we good. Now, once you've done that, just go to your morph. Here's your little gear icon, click on it, and go to parameter settings, and we're going to change this to, not to negative 100. When you do a negative 100, it's just going to burst everything, right? So, we're just going to change that to zero. So, zero is fine, or one, or whatever. Okay, zero is fine. So that's your minimum. You can't go below the minimum, and that's a good thing. Okay, because then you destroy your model. Ari. Uh, now we want to save our morph, right? Test morph. We're gonna say file. Make sure you select Genesis nine. Uh, you've got your morph asset there. Uh, with your character selected, you're just gonna say file, uh, save as. Uh, what is this now? Uh, we need where's the where's the stupid support asset and morph asset okay 
bam right here and now we're gonna all you gotta do all, all you gotta do here peoples is select the right things all right so it's under genesis 9 um and where did we even put this thing man ach mensch mensch under actor right actor actor test morph there it is right remember we saved it under actor and there's the test morph so we good so make sure you choose the right one okay there it is uh, so the reason we sent it through to hexagon is that we could just export it back and it gives you that one morph okay that one morph and we named it and it's beautiful and when we send it back we just got one we don't have the the 100 200 8 billion morphs that we use to make the character right if you're making a character you can you can use up to 50 60 billion if you want to you will die of old age before you get there but you can okay anyway this compressor arm sends it back and there it is now what i want to do vendor name let's just call it bob bob okay bob uh and the vendor product uh, we're just going to call it uh morph test bob my god we're going to put it under our main library okay so we good c drive da, 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 da. all good and that's it you can hit accept okay and we good all right once you're done all right just you can delete all your scenes and everything and then just load up your genesis 9 look for your bloody morph test morph blah all right and you can just do it and it's there okay so now you've got this if if you put in anything else it'll work uh boom boom Okay. If you just wanted the face, you could just break it out and do the face. If you wanted the body. Now, remember, don't do moves, uh, poses or anything. Now, uh, you know, it's it's saving the entire morph. So keep your character neutral and fix the face up and the body. And you can separate those things. I don't know if you pose it. Will it take? Yeah, of course. It's a morph. So it's, it's going to mess things up. There's one last thing that you got to do. Okay. Uh, because. Um, because. Now, the last thing you want to do, when you bring in a character and you use your morph, whatever, you are going to go to edit, uh, figure? Is it figure? Is it my figure? And what is it? Rigging and adjust rigging to shape because the skeleton changes, right? If you've used a lot of morphs or something, you're going to change where the skeleton is in your character. So if you want to apply any other morphs or whatever, it's, it's going to mess up. So this just redigs the bones. You get this pile of shite, right? And once you get that, you can just leave everything as is. Hit accept and you're good. It'll start calculating, uh, putting the joints all in the right places. And one more thing. And just a few more things. Just go to your parameters. Uh, click on edit mode. Right click on all the web, I think. I don't know. Can you do it anyway? Yeah. Hit edit mode, you get this little VP, I don't know, M, M, and then on your test morph, right click and say uh, ERC freeze, okay? You'll get this little thing in my bobby, and we're good. And with this, make sure that you don't have anything else in there, like uh, you're, you're just looking for your morph, okay? So select your Genesis 9, your character, um, and that's it, that's it, everything should be fine. Make sure there's no hair, or I don't even know if you can get hair or stuff in here. It's literally on your character. But just make sure, you know, leave it as is, say accept, and you can see something's happening. Okay. And now you're creating your freeze. Once that's done, once that's done, now the reason why we do the ERC freeze and all these kind of steps is so once you change something, right? Once you change something, uh, you know, make arms longer, heads, necks bigger, whatever, and your character size, whatever, your, your skeleton doesn't update. It doesn't update. It stays like, if you move the head up a little, your skeleton stays here. All the morphs, they kind of stay in the same places as far as I know. And if you try and do any morphs after that, uh, like, you know, smile, expressions, this, that, it's just going to wreck your mesh. Everything gets wrecked, right? So the reason why we do these processes is to put the skeleton in the right place and everything is great then, okay? All right, that's why, that's why. 
So all we're going to do here is click on your Genesis 9. We're going to go back to Edit, uh, Save As, uh, Support Asset, and Morph Assets, right? And we're going to click on this Genesis 9. And what was it under Actor? Uh, where where the uh, Test Morph Wire? There it is. Okay. So just click that one, um, product name. We should have kept all of this the same, man. All of this the same, but we didn't. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I don't know. We, we didn't. Test uh, morph. Wah. I don't know. Yeah, that's going to go down perfectly. Anyway, uh, and you just select it and you say accept, right? You're just selecting the morph that you want accept and that's it now you have a full functioning morph that you can do stuff with okay everything will work now right so let's uh let's shut down uh completely des and reopen it and see if this works just to show you we're loading from scratch i'm going to go to all products nine uh figures and let's just select one genesis nine i'm just i can i can take any genesis nine that i want to I thought, well, look, the reasons you do this from Essentials is because it's the base shape for everything, right? So if you do your morphs and stuff, you can still use other morphs that you've bought and stuff. Just put apply them afterwards. If you do this to any other character, you're not going to get the exact same results. It'll, it'll mess a little thing. It'll mess a couple of things up, right? You know this though, right? Because all these other characters are just morphs. So if you're adding this morph on top of another morph, it's not going to come out correctly. You can tweak ever so slightly but that's what it is okay that's what it is now i'm going to put my test morph where is it there it is test morph in there and bam okay everything's fine uh i can make i can make the bastard i can make the bastard smile can you smile for us love smile for us oh look at that it just comes out perfectly it's beautiful i can put a pause on the bastard i can put a pause on the bastard uh, where's it? Just give me a pose, man. Any pose, any pose will do. Yes, all right. That's, 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 that's just a nice. That's just a nice. Where are you, you little wee bastard? There you are. So everything is working fine, all right? That's how you save out a morph. Whether you're using eight, whether you're using nine, whatever you're doing, just do it like that. And Kari, Ari didn't do nothing with this video. It was all me, all right? Ari just stood there like a feel. Just sitting there doing nothing. No, nothing, nothing, not, not. <laughs> anyway, people, I hope this helps. You can save out any more. So if you're using Genesis 8, it's the same process. Uh, also, if you're using all those other kind of morphy things, you know, like, uh, what is it? Oh, man, I forgot the tools, but I know some dude asked me if I could do uh, help him with the morphs. Uh, it, it, this is the process. This is the process you use for all of it, okay? If you want to save out any morph you've done, any way that you've done, uh, you'll do it like this, okay? Anyway, I hope this helps. I'll speak to you later, and bye, guys.